Hi there, Kevin Wright here. I assume I'm speaking to uh, Ross, Simon and Jonathan. Hi there. Um, I hope to keep this video down to about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I just want to, in this video, I'm going to show you really uh, a few things. One is um, the what it's going to take to convert visitors to your site uh, to be converted to inquiries. Number one. Number two is what keywords are out there that's going to give you traffic and what the competitors are doing. And number three is how to outperform your competitors in getting into the map pack here where you're going to get a lot of the clicks and um, what are they doing and how to outperform them in getting into the first three or four positions here for you know major keywords. So that's what we're going to try to cover. I'm only going to skim the surface of this and you'll see from just a little bit of keyword research um, you can multiply your traffic at least five, six, seven or even eight times and that's only just going not so much deep into keyword research. First of all then, let's go into the convertibility of um, your website, um, uh, of uh, many websites, or different websites. First of all, your website. So what we're talking about is here, when someone, when visitors come to see you or visit your website here, they land on your website here, how easy it is for them to become a lead or is it compelling for them to become a lead um, or in, uh, make an inquiry? And uh, if I come to this site, the feel I get immediately, I like your Devontree service. It helps you in a lot of ways, actually. Um, so you know exactly what it's all about. You've got a number up here, easy to see. I'm not sure if it's clickable on a, a mobile, but it's not on laptop. Uh, but it's, it's, it's quite small. <clears throat> it needs to be much bigger. I would put it much bigger out here, somewhere like that. And the feel I get from this site is that it's a temporary site, basically. I know what the idea is. You've got a, a, a notice board here with pinned messages. And... Uh, other colleagues of mine have had the same feeling that it looks like you've got a message here that's going to say, you know, out for lunch or uh, website not finished or something like that. <laughs> but it just gives that feel of unfinished, especially since there's not a lot of content on here, uh, which doesn't give it a lot of credibility. So if I was going to give out of 10 for convertibility, I would say probably three, maximum four. Um, I want to go and see some competitors of your now. Let's have a look at the guys who's on number one for this search term, or number three actually. Um, how converting is his? Well, again, it's not to me a little number here. It's not even convertible, uh, not even clickable. Um, nowhere they can see to get or quickly see to see a form. Uh, I would say give it about the same three or four maximum. Um, let's have a look at a Plymouth Tree Surgeon search term. The number one here is uh, Arbocure. Let's have a look at the convertibility of this. A little bit better. You can see, again, another small up here, but you can see exactly what it's about, of course. Um, but there, they've got a button here. Okay, so it's another point to them, if you like. And you come down here, easy to see what it's all about and much better to have this kind of thing, a list of what you're doing rather than just have it in here only. Um, so again, yeah, not bad. I'd give that probably a five, maybe six. And just because of that button really and, and a little bit of the feel of it. Let's go to another search term here. Tree Services Exeter. Your number one is uh, just... Chestnut Trees, so look at their site for convertibility. Um, we've got the number up here, straight in front of you, but it's not clickable. Maybe it is on mobile, but it's a bit cluttered, this site. Don't really like the feel of it. I, I wouldn't click it, um, but it's a little bit better as far as my rules go for here, but still I'll give that maybe five, maybe six. Um, let's have a look at the site here. Now, this is nothing to do with your area. It's up in, I think, it's Manchester or something. I found this, but this is a very simple site, but it clicks, it ticks most of the boxes as far as call to action, and not all of them, but and other things as well. But but it's so simple. Look, you've got a massive number up here, and it's clickable. I think you've got it again here, and you've got it again here, so um, people can easy easy to to make a call from a mobile phone on that. Um, it's also got something that most people don't dare to do, and they put a form here. I would almost guarantee that this would have a lot of form inquiries. A lot of people would put in a little button here saying, get free quote. 
it has been shown, proven, time and time again through split testing that this open form here, even if it's not so good looking, is going to outperform any little button here that gets, says get a free quote. Um, and so you could make this a lot more prettier, but um, that form being there is going to compel people who just don't want to make a phone call uh, who will fill in this form for sure. I'm going to give this, this would I would give eight it may be eight and a half out of ten. We should have the number somewhere in the middle here as well for a chance to call as well. Because I would say a lot of people are searching on their mobile it's still on with this, even with this service. Again, you've got it down here. So yeah, that's so that's a little bit about convertibility. I really want to get into stuck into the other meat though, and that is let's have a look at what opportunities you have of um, keywords. Now, before I do that. I want to say this, that um, getting into these positions is really about outperforming, finding out what these guys are doing um, as far as getting their traffic from different keywords, but what are they doing to get here and what are they doing to get here? And then just purely outperforming them in the major factors to get there because you don't want to spend huge amounts of money trying to beat the world. You don't need to beat the world because you're not going to do tree services out in California. You're doing tree services in your area where you can travel to. So you only have to outperform the local competitors. Okay, so we can keep the cost down. It's not a national thing. So um, let's have a look then. Um, at these opportunities for keywords. Um, I'm going to go straight to uh, Tree Services Extra and have a look at the look at some intelligence, look at some um, knowledge of what these guys are doing. Let's have a quick look at this. So this is, X, I use a, a company called the HREFs, they get a lot of intel on this. It's not 100% accurate, but it gives a great indi indicate indicative uh, information, good information. Look, so Tree Surgeon Executor, um, Exeter, sorry, uh, they're the number one or two position. <clears throat> they're getting their, most of their traffic, virtually all of their traffic from that keyword. And the search term is, a, a search is 100 per month for that. Tree Surgeon Devon, you're getting 150 for you. If this is this is you here, you're getting Devon Tree Services the other way around. Um, there's 100 searches. You're in that number one position. Yell getting 34 uh, visitors per month on that, and virtually nothing else and anything else. That's it. So you've got a, a massive chance to rank for other keywords. And as I said, one of them is. Tree services extra because again it's a hundred and you get forty five you get they're getting more than you and you already if you rank for this which is it not hard to do with this number here it's not number th is three so the keyword difficulty is three it's very easy to rank for and you could easily double your uh, traffic just by ranking for another keyword then there's tree surgeon Devon I think you're number three for that anyway and so. <clears throat> um, there's others here as well. East Devon Tree Care is 30, not much. Uh, mm, Newton Abbott's 50. Okay, so, um, but just looking at the surface, just two keywords, you can double your, your traffic. Let's have a look at Plymouth Tree Surgeon. Who's the number one for that? Arbicure. So Arbicure, let's have a look at theirs. Just remind us who they are, that's them. Arbicure. Yep, in number one position, they're getting 58. They're getting a lot more. So already you've tripled, even quadrupled your uh, traffic just by th adding two or three more keywords. Plymouth Tree Service is 70. So Tree Surge is Cornwall Look, 200. Keyword difficulty is three, easy to outperform, easy to rank for this. And they're getting seven. Uh, they're, not getting, well, they're, they're not getting a lot from this because they're number ten. But that's that would be a one for go for as well. Um, so just touching the surface, we can see um, easily three service extra different, slightly different um, chestnut. They're getting they're in the number three, they're getting 15 <coughs> from 100 searches per month of this term. <coughs> so as I said, just touching the surface 
of, of this keyword research and we can easily uh, multiply your traffic by six, seven times by ranking for pretty simple, pretty easy um, keywords that are that uh, you can you can outperform your competitors on because the keyword difficulty is quite low. So there's lots of opportunity in keywords to, I would say, at the end of the day, multiply your traffic by ten times. Um, so let's have a look now. The interesting stuff, another interesting stuff, stuff is how are you getting in this position here? What are you doing to get in the position? But more importantly, what are the competitor, your competitors, how are they getting into this position here for that, that term there? Because this is where you want to be and how these guys are getting into this position here for that term there and, vice, and for all the keywords. What are they doing? Well, to get into this position here, it takes two major things. This is a lot more, but two major things are you've got to be strong in your website. You've got to be strong and ranking for this keyword. And we can see that's quite easy to do that. We've just shown you. Um, but the second most important thing, once you've got a little bit of ranking there, the factor is the, the most number of citations or registrations in directory where you have your name, your address and phone number. They call it NAP. Well, let me just show you they're not doing bad in that area. And I use a I use a site called White Spark to have a to get the intel, if you like, from competitors. Uh, Plymouth Tree Services, the number one uh, uh, for the term uh, Plymouth Tree Services of search. I've got 14 citations, 14 directories that they're registered in. You are registered in 33. So you're already outperforming them in that factor and probably most of the others as well. So why aren't you in the map pack here? It's because you are not performing or you're not, oh, sorry, you're not ranking for that term at all. So, but you are uh, complying with the other factor of citations. You've got them, you're outperforming all of these probably in that in the citations but you've just got to be up here somewhere or you've got to be in in the position somewhere down here you've got to be ranking on page one really or number two to get into these positions so again easy to do that and because you already get the site got the citations next is what are people doing to get into this position these but this position here number one two or three or four okay and that the factors here are number one content relevant, authoritative, thorough content, and backlinks, what I call votes from other credible authority sites. Well, I'm not going to go into the backlink side of it, because, but I haven't got time, but I'm going to go into the content, how important it is. This is a search term for, this is going to be an example of what it takes. Mike Tyson. So why is it that Mike Tyson, that Wikipedia is being put up at number one for the term search Mike Tyson. This is the reason here. Look at all this content. Google are saying that Wikipedia are the most authoritative, have the most authoritative and thorough content on the whole life and, and whatever of, of Mike Tyson. No other website has this so much th thoroughness to it. And so uh, authority on Mike Tyson to it. So anybody who searches for something, Google want them to have the best result. And by far, this is the best result. What does that mean to you? It means that you need to show Google that you are the most authoritative, uh, you have the most authoritative content on your subject matter for whatever it's been searched for. Which means you're going to have to put, I always advise my clients to get a thousand words on their page. That's why I like this site. Look at that. It complies with Google. It, ha it keeps Google happy with all these. Now, it's got to be written properly. It's got to be, you've got the, it's got to be sprinkled with the right stuff. It's got to have the right headings, lots of things. But basically, you've got a content there and you're pleasing the user as well with lots of pictures. This site is going to make it. Um, <clears throat> and look at the content here. Not much. So, what are your, so it's easy to outperform you here. That's why these guys are beating you in everything else. Um, you're beating them in this search term mainly because of your domain, I would say. Not much else. Um, and that's how easy it is to outperform people. So look at, look at this. They are number one in this search term here. Or number three, actually. Um, 
Look at their site. Easy to outperform. Search term for Plymouth, which is a good, a good keyword, about 150, I think it was, searches per month. Arbecue. Content. A little bit better, aren't they? A little bit better, but still easy to outperform. No, nowhere near a thousand words, probably less than 300. Chestnut for this search term. A little bit, but nothing much. Easy to outperform again. <laughs> so, ah, okay. So for your for your area, it, it, it's it's not hard to outperform your competitors. For uh, get it. So the SEO content and backlinks. Just have a quick look at backlinks for this, these guys here. Arbicure. They got. Mm, 124 referring domains not bad it looks here 1.9 this is pretty good but if you look here it's declining has declined everything is declined they're out of the picture they've lost it I don't know why uh, you can see here the irrelevant backlinks these backlinks here these anchor texts here for backlinks nothing to do with trees I don't know if that's got anything to do with trees anyway, but sure. Who wants to rank for those terms? So it's weak. Even though they've got quite a few, it's pretty weak. So that's it really. It. I've just shown you very briefly and very quickly um, um, you know, how you can outperform your competitors, what it's going to take to do some uh, getting, in, getting into your into this positions here. Um, basically, it's content, backlinks, and convertibility. Um, SEO does take time to do that, but basically, it's not hard to outperform your competitors, and it would probably take you know between three to nine months, six months. I would give you at least six to nine months um, on the SEO. Meantime, I would do um, get your website sorted out um, and. Um, get your citations are pretty much sorted out I'd add another 20 or 30 uh, get your backlinking sorted out but get your keywords ranking for those keywords easy keywords that's what I would do if I were you look I've run on too long but I hope it's been helpful to you a few tips there um, I would like to um, you know get back to you to be able to have the opportunity to present to you the complete package um, and then we can talk about uh, what that cost is going to be. But I, I don't want to just give you a proposal, bung a proposal on paper. I want to go through a presentation to, so you know exactly what you're going to get and the value of it and see if it's, uh, and then I want to price it so that you can, um, you know, afford it and that it's going to be very valuable for because you can get that, um, get any investment back pretty quickly. Okay, that's it. Thanks for your attention. Bye for now. And I hope to hear from you about uh, uh, schedule for a presentation uh, on the package for you. Okay, thanks very much and bye for now.